Oh, look at here. I just made some black candy apples. If you want to learn how to make black candy apples after sitting your apples out for 48 hours, stay tuned, guys. Here are the apples I have let sit for 48 hours. Now it's time to stick them with bling sticks. I have a video already to show you guys how to make bling sticks for your apples. You just punch it into the apple. You don't want to punch it too hard to go all the way through to the bottom. So... Just push it on down and let it be snudged inside. You might have to give it a little arm power, but it's not that bad. Coming up is an apple that's leaning sideways, and this is the apple I'm talking about. You still stick the apple straight. And this is how it looks. So right now, I'm taking the damp paper towel and I'm wiping the sap off. Once you let the apple sit for 48 hours, sap breaks out the apple, so you wanna wipe that off and let it sit for maybe 10 to 20 minutes to let it dry before dipping your apples. Make sure you wipe all over the apple. Now it's time to dip. You have your sugar, your carol syrup, a spatula, of course, your thermometer, a cup or a bowl full of water, and a measuring cup. Right now I have a saucepan, and I'm about to put four cups of sugar inside. That's one cup. Four one cups. One cup of water. And one cup of carol syrup. You may not see me put dump that in from um a measuring cup i usually just i use a cup or i just i just know how to eye it and dump it all in but make sure it's one cup you want to take your spatula and stir it all together You want to make sure that the sugar dissolves. Stir it very well, guys.
Okay, you want to turn your eye on your burner to like medium high heat. Take your thermometer and place it in on side inside on the pot. Make sure you don't let it touch the bottom because it's going to get off, give off a bad reading. So this is how it looked the cooking process. It's cooking. almost done we're going up to 300 Fahrenheit and it's done you want to turn your burner off take the thermometer out and that bowl or cup full of water, you want to sit that inside. There's the food colorings I'll be using to make that color black. You want to do maybe eight drops of black and two drops of yellow. That's just to make sure that that red doesn't seep through the the black to make it a lighter black the yellow tones the black to make it real coil black if that makes sense it's almost like mixing paint together stir it up very well I think they look a little bit transparent at this time I think I'm gonna be dipping about two more drops of black inside make sure you stir your mixture very well and now it's time to dip the apples You just twirl that apple right on in the pot and cover it up with the black candy. And you just repeat the same steps as so. Uh, see how black that apple is? How shiny it is? Feel free to ask any questions down below in my comment section if you have any questions. Let all the excess candy drip back in the pot before you place the apple down. That's a shiny apple. It almost looked like glass.
And this is the last apple. Wow. Look at that. You can see a reflection through that apple. And here they are, black candy apples. Thank you for coming by my channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.